Hello guys and welcome back. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to rotate and how to scale images in Java. So first off we're going to create the JFrame. So I'm going to call, going to call this F and set it equal to a new JFrame. And then I'm going to import this. I'm going to use a quick short call, shortcut. This shortcut is called Control shift m and then it automatically uh, implements it or imports it. Um, up here, we're going to go ahead and, and write extends jpanel. Um, this, this way, we have a, a, a what's it called a a class that can can be drawn in. So next up, we're going to actually add this jpanel to the to the jframe. So go f dot add and then go new tutorial. Here after this, we go f dot set size six hundred times six hundred. Then F dot set visible to true. This is all just basic uh, J frame stuff. And then go at F dot set uh, default uh, close operation and go J frame dot close on exit on close. Sorry. After this, what we need to do is create the uh, paint component, uh, which is the class where we are going to draw in. So go public void paint component. And this takes the argument um, graphics g, and in here we're just going to leave it empty for now. And again, going to import this by going Control Shift M. And next thing we're going to do, and this is the last uh, class we're going to make, or last function we're going to make, uh, we're going to go with the function that's going to load the images. So go buffered image, and because it's a function that's going to return a buffered image, and we're going to call it load image, and it's going to take one parameter, and that parameter is um, the uh, name of the file name, so go string file name in here, and we're going to import this as well first, but in here uh, we're first going to create the image, so buffered image img equals null, and then we return this image, and now in between here we're actually going to load it so go image equals, um, and we're gonna use the function image io, and then dash read. In here we're gonna in input a file, and we are going to create this file by going new file, and then insert inserting the file name that we used as a parameter. There we go, and we're gonna import file as well. Oh, and we need to surround this with a try and a catch because if we insert a wrong file name it's going to crash if we don't do this. I'm going to go IO exception E. There we go and I'm going to import this as well, Control shift M. And up in here uh, I'm going to first off create something we call an affine transform object. And this is pretty much the object we're going to use to rotate and scale our images. So go affine transform AT and I'm going to import this first. There we go. Equals uh, affine transform dot get translate instance. And in here, um, these uh, two parameters are pretty much um, the place on the, the screen is going to be drawn. So if you go 100 and 100, it's going to be drawn 100 pixel in and 100 pixel down. So now we can use this A2T to rotate the images we're going to draw. So go AT.rotate. And in here it takes radians, but I'm go just going to go math.2radians. This way we can write in degrees. And we're going to put in 45 degrees. Um, next up, uh, we're going to actually load the image. Um, and the image we're going to use is um, an apple. So just go buffered image uh, apple equals load image and then apple.png is what I've called it. And for this to work, the, the uh, apple picture file needs to be located in your source folder. So your project folder um, instead. And now the last thing we need before we can draw it is to actually create a graphics 2D object instead, because this affine transform object we can only use in graphics 2D. We cannot use it in the normal graphics. Um, graphics object, so we go graphics 2D, um, and we call it G2D, I'm just going to import this as well, there we go, and set it equal to, um, we're going to cast 
this G object that we, we got um, here. We're going to cast it to a graphics G, uh, 2D. And then we're just going to go G to do it. G2D that draw image and in here we go apple and then we use the fine transform we made up here and we go null for the image observer and that is it for drawing the image I'm going to run the program and as you can see the apple is drawn uh, 100 pixel in 100 pixel down and then rotated um, but as you can see it's, it's it seems like it's more down than it's in that is because it rotated around the top left point. Now say we wanted to rotate it around the center of the apple instead of rotating it, rotating it in the top left point. What we can do is insert two more parameters into this rotate function here. So we could, can go apple dot get width apple dot oh whoops I'm going to move this up here so we can use it apple dot get width there we go and then divide by 2 and then apple dot get height and divide that by 2 this way it's going to be rotate around this center um, as you can see it's now rotating around this center and it's equally in and down so for the last thing I'm just going to make a quick um, animation and here I'm just going to make a really lousy loop just uh, calling repaint I'm going to set integer i equals 0 and just go in here i plus plus so it will increment i 1 each time it's going to be repainted and it's going to be rotating so as you can see the image is now rotating um, and also I want to show you how to scale and that's really simple it just goes at that scale and then in here you can write 2 and 2 that means it will be double as big and if you just write run it 1 it will do nothing this is for the x uh, direction, this is for the y direction and if you want this you can see it's actually <laughs> now it's double as big and it's rotating around the top left corner because um, we have a, a different size oops we have a different size on the um, apple since we uh, scaled it up so that's it for that tutorial uh, thanks you guys for watching and have a good day